Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to handle, that is how to automate the calendar type 3. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, I have automated the other two types of calendar, that is calendar type 1 and calendar type 2. Now in this session, I'm going to show you how to automate the calendar type 3. So here is an example page where you can find this calendar type 3. So let me copy this URL and open this URL in this browser. And on this page, you will find this uh, the third variety of calendar that you may encounter while working with applications. You see, this is how the calendar looks like. I just need to click on this option and I'll get this calendar. And uh, see, March 2023 and uh, date 27 is there. And, uh, you know, if I have to change it, I can change it something like this, right? Say 31st August 2023 and here I can change the year, let's say 2024. You see a lot of options are coming here, right? I can select something like this and then 2020, uh, I mean 22. And here, you know, I can give you some time and uh, second uh, time and minutes, okay? So let's give some, that's it. Like this, you can give time and minutes and uh, click on submit. And after submitting, you'll get this page. So how to handle this kind of calendar? Okay, though it looks very complex, but it's very simple to handle this calendar. So let me again refresh this page so that again, we'll get, uh, let's go back otherwise and refresh this page so that we'll get the calendar in a proper state now. So I'm going to automate this. I'll copy this application URL and go to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. And here we have to open the application URL. I'll paste it here. After opening this application URL, what I want to do is I want to, okay, select a date in this, okay, select a date and I have to give the time and all the stuff and I have to click on the submit button. This is what I want to do. So for selecting the date and time, I just need to click on this option, right? Looks like we have to click on this option, calendar icon. Then you'll get the calendar, right? So let me first inspect this, sir. Let me first inspect this. And it has a name locator. Copy this name locator and go to this uh, script and write down driver dot find element by dot name locator. Give the name locator of that particular calendar icon and simply say dot click. And here I'll just give time dot sleep for demo purpose. So whether that calendar is coming or not, we'll see. Okay. Run the script and see whether on clicking that calendar icon on the calendar feed, the calendar is being displayed or not. Let's see first. You see, I you say I clicked on this, but no calendar is coming. Rather, you see that particular Y Y Y got selected there. Okay, let me run it again. Just see here. Otherwise, I'll just give some eight seconds. Run this, just observe carefully. It's opening the application URL. And we are clicking on that calendar icon using that name locator. But you see, is a uh, is a calendar icon open? Calendar open? No. Rather, why 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 is getting selected? That's what is a problem. Okay, this is not going to work in the way you want. Okay, you are unable to open the calendar at all. Okay, so in this, using the Selenium auto like manually, you can click here and you know you can do all these things. But using Selenium, you are unable to open this calendar no matter what. The calendar is not going to come. Then how to solve this problem? If this click is not going to work, then how to solve the problem? Here is a place where you have to, there's another way guys, using the send case command. In this case, you can use send case command where you can start typing that day, month, year, time, hours and minutes into this field. How? Here, first I want to give the day as 25. Here, DD, I want to enter 25 here. And then MVM, I'll give the month 11. That is November. And year, I'll give the year as 2024. This is what I want to give. After that, I have to give the number of hours and seconds, right? Uh, sorry, uh, number of hours and minutes. I'll give 10, 50. Let me run the script and see what's happening. Will it work? It's not going to work in whatever the way you are thinking. You will get some problems here, okay? It's going to work partially, I can say, but not fully. Let's see what is going to happen. With the help of send keys command, I'm trying to select some date into this date field. You see, 25, 11, 2024 20, is there, but here 
instead of 1050 coming here, 10 is coming here and 5 is coming here. There's a problem. It's not properly selected. Why? Let me show you manually, guys. Once you are on this page, now if you type 25, then type 11, then type 2024, and if you type 10, the 10 is not being entered here. Rather, it is entered along with the year. Okay? Here it should be entered, but here along with the year, it is coming here. So how to overcome this problem is, again, refresh the page. I select this. Okay? Now 25, type 11, type. Okay? Uh, again, let me do it again. Select this, type 25, then type 11, then type 20, 24. And after that, I should not be typing anything. Rather, I have to press tab key. When I press it tab key, from here it is going, the focus is going here. Now type 10 and 50 as a minutes, 10 hours, 50 minutes. And click on the submit button. This is what you have to do, guys. Okay. So don't directly enter 25, 11, 20, 24, 10, 50 here as the way I have done. Rather enter only up to 20, 24, till which everything is entered proper, properly, right? Now again, the same field you take. And write down dot send keys, keys key. So if this is not imported, it will uh, you'll get an error like this. Okay, over the mouse on this keys and import this uh, from Selenium Python and say dot tab key. You have to press the tab key after entering this uh, day, month, and year, right? Then press the tab key. After pressing the tab key, you have to enter the hour sign minutes. For that, again the same thing. Driver dot uh, find element. Same thing, give it here and say dot send the keys and give the number 1050. That's it. Okay, directly give 1050. After pressing tab key, you can enter 1050 without any problem. So, this is going to work this time. You see, when I run the script, you will see that it is going to work. First, it will enter 2511, 2024. After that, press tab key and 1050. Now, I want to click on the submit button. How to click on the submit button? Inspect the submit button. And let's see what is the submit button. Here is the code for this uh, HTML code for the submit button. Copy this. Input type is equal to submit. Okay. I'll create an XPath expression double slash input at the rate type is equal to. I'll give the submit uh, and uh, I'll copy this uh, XPath expression for locating that uh, submit button. And here I'll write the code driver dot find element by dot XPath and give the XPath expression for locating the submit button and simply say dot click. That's it. So click on the submit button. Once the submit button is clicked, it will be taken to this page. That proves that uh, we have we are successfully be able to enter the date, time, and everything into the field, date field, and uh, we were able to click on the submit button. Okay, run the script. So this is what is the script you have to write here. This is how we have to handle another type of calendar. Okay, not always uh, everything is possible. So we have to figure out some ways. In this case, we were using Sedikis command. You see, 1015 type the enter date and time everything is coming properly okay got submitted properly so hope guys you understood how to automate the calendar type 3 using selenium python so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye bye